Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to just talk about a little Real Housewives of Atlanta tea. Um, the first thing is Miss Cynthia Bailey. <laughs> Miss Cynthia Bailey appeared on Wendy Williams. Um, I noticed the other day, well, not I noticed. Um, I saw online the other day where they said that she had removed um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta name from her um, Instagram page. Um, however, I also saw on B. Scott that she wasn't fired. So, Wendy basically tells Cynthia to her face that, girl, she needs to be the one to go. Um, I will say this much. As much as I like Wendy, I don't like the fact that Wendy will make a statement that bold on television and then not give the person who she just told to their face that they should be unemployed, not give them a chance to respond. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. They're, they're putting the sign up. Okay, well, girl, you're going to let me say what I have to say because you just said on national, on international television that I should be unemployed, right? Um, I think one thing that I have noticed is that every year they say that Cynthia is the one that will no longer be a part of the franchise and then every year we see her holding a peach however if Cynthia was to go this year you know I wouldn't care you know I think that Cynthia has has had a, a good run on Real Housewives of Atlanta I could definitely see Cynthia um excuse me <clears throat> excuse me I could definitely see Cynthia on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, I don't know if financially she can keep up with those girls. You know, them girls up there, they have some real, they, they, they up there driving $275,000 toy cars, right? Um, however, I think that one thing that I always say, I think that before they even give anyone on the cast their pink slips i think that the first person that needs to go is the production team um the production team sucks i think i think they are trying to sabotage real housewives of atlanta and i think that they are trying to make real housewives of atomic the new show for bravo girl real housewives of atomic had Nicki Minaj song in one of the promos. Good. Okay. Um, but I think that so, I didn't want to believe it at first, but I think that something is going on over there at Atlanta where it's just not adding up to me. It's just the things are just not. It's like the math ain't math, and right, like it's just not adding up, girl. It, it doesn't make sense. And everything that we hear, it's you know, it could just be hearsay. But if it's true, it just does not make any sense. And so, Tamara Tattles, y'all know, know I love Tamara Tattles. Um, she reported the other day about some casting updates. And she said that Portia had been informally, informally um, in contact with um, Truly Original, I guess about discussing her storyline, um, that Fallon will not appear on season 14, I guess because they thought that the whole golf club incident that she pulled on the last season, um, you know, remember when Toya came to her house and Fallon pulled out a golf club and was running around the house trying to get to Fallon? They felt as though that was too salacious, reckless, and lowbrow. <clears throat> I think that Bravo thinks that the Real Housewives of Atlanta viewers are dumb. Because I think once upon a time, I think that a lot of us, I'll just say me, I used to put the girls that worked at Bravo, I did, I used to think the girls that worked at Bravo were better than the girls who worked on VH1. <laughs> I did, <laughs> Girl, I did. Uh, I used to think that the, the the Atlanta girls were better than the girls on Love and Hip Hop. Yes, I did. But now it's like, girl, they're pretty much all the same. I'm not exactly sure how you can have someone like Nene 
who we love, right? You know, we have a love hate relationship. We just hate the way we just hate the way that Nene's going out, right? But Nene is a reality icon. We know that. But Nene was rewarded for bad behavior, right? She was, you know, walking down the street, hugging Sheree, tugging at people's wigs. Bloop, bloop, girl. You know, I pop your eyes out. I, I almost spit on you when she almost spit on Kenya. We've seen Portia accuse someone of premeditated. We've seen Phaedra do the same thing. And they're thinking about bringing, bringing Phaedra back after she really could have ruined somebody's life. Right. Look at Candy and Todd. Right. So you're out here lying on someone, repeating a lie that you knew was a lie, just to one up them in the scene. You have Portia who's gotten into three physical altercations on the show. But now all of a sudden, girl, it's too lowbrow. Like the reality is we know what exactly is going on. We know when we see Simon, on, like, how is it going to look? That you're introducing Portia and Simon in season 14 as this couple that's just in love. When everybody knows that we just saw Simon in season 13 with another woman, his wife, at a house that Portia was invited to. So we're just going to skip over all of that. And y'all just going to try to make us believe that Portia and Simon are just this blissfully in love couple. Like, it's shit... It's shit like that. It's one thing that we honestly didn't know. It's kind of like when I was watching up when I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and Chloe was basically saying how they would get upset sometimes because Courtney would not want them to talk about her relationships, even though everything was already out there in the news. Like, girl, they're already talking about it in the blogs. They're already reporting on it. So it's not like we're talking about this guy you're dating and nobody knows. Everybody knows, right? And I understood what Chloe was trying to say. And that's how I feel about this. Everybody knows about the Simon Portia Fallon situation. So to pretend that that has not happened going to season 14 is really low-key like a slap in our face. And it just goes to show, again, that y'all really are over there trying to protect the precious Portia, right? I mean, if she got the pool, I mean, she got the pool. Don't nobody want to look like no hoe on TV. So I guess if I had to, if I was in, a, if I was doing some hoe shit like Portia and I had some pool to the point where, girl, I could switch up the narrative, switch up the storyline, girl, I would probably do the same thing, right? Um, she also said that Portia may be either the highest um, paid housewife in season 14 or the second highest, which I can't believe. Um, filming should start um, the first half of July. Um, they're still in discussion about bringing either Sheree back, Phaedra back, and Cynthia. I think Cynthia may be on the chopping block just for the simple fact that she really is on some, look, it's been 11 years. If I go, I go. If I don't, I don't. You know, girl, I, I don't know. I feel like Cynthia about to go. Um, Y'all know I definitely don't want Phaedra back. I don't think that you should be rewarded for bad behavior. If somebody accused me of premeditated, I'm whooping your ass every time I see you, bitch. I'm whooping your ass every time I see you. Bitch, it's gonna, bitch I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sling your ass every which way but loose. Bitches, it, bitch, y'all thought that it took the production and the crew to pull Monique off of Candace. Baby, the way it's going to take half of the goddamn building to pull me off uh, Phaedra's ass if I was Candy and low-key low key Peach Juice. Girl, y'all, Peach Juice really, peach juice really low key got away with murder on that one, girl. Um, the people that are, that are expected to come back, Portia, Kenya, Drew, Marlo, Candy, and Shamia. Latoya and Fallon are not in any pre-production story planning. So I don't think Latoya is coming back. Um, Fallon is not coming back. Like, this has to be a setup. Like, this has to be one of those, girl, we just going to try to make sure that we get Portia to sign on. And then, girl, when, when she signed on the dotted line, girl, we're going to use Kenya to bring Fallon around to all the dinners. So, like, I don't even care if Fallon have a peach or not. But if, if if every time Kenya pop up, pop up on the scene at a group dinner, if Fallon ain't right beside her, bitch, I'm going to be pissed off. 
good. It had like this has to be a setup. This has to be a setup. It has to be. I just refuse to believe that they will not bring Fallon back in any capacity. Like, you're not gonna bring that girl back for real in real life. Okay. Um Yeah, and Phaedra, Phaedra, it's a good chance that Phaedra might come back. If Phaedra comes back, I'm still going to review it, but I'm going to let that bitch have it. I do not like Phaedra. Phaedra is a con artist. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Ain't no way you fucking a married man, and he ain't got no job, and you know he ain't got no job. But, girl, he bragging about spending five to $8,000 at the strip club, and, girl, you don't know nothing about it. Phaedra was in on that shit. At least I think so. <clears throat> Anyways, that's it for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I will talk to y'all girls later. Bye.